Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'll show you how to set up your Canon EOS camera for live streaming without the capture card. With the global pandemic, live streaming from home has become table stakes. Personally, I find myself on video conference calls every day, and as a marketing person, I am seeing the trend in live broadcasting, whether it be it from YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. For this video, you'll need a Canon EOS camera. I'm using my M50, a micro USB cable, and a Windows machine. This is one I'm using with a Core i7 or greater. Now let's get started. After I shot the entire video, they came out with the Mac version, and now I'm doing a little screen record in Zoom just to show you what it looks like in Mac. At the end of this video, I'll cut back over here and show you how to install on Mac, how to get Zoom and Skype to work on Mac. Those are the only two things I got working as of the recording of this video. Today, I go live on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook every week at the time of the filming of this video. A lot of these capture cards like this are sold out. Webcams are sold out. It is getting harder and harder to find hardware for live streaming. I bought this no name capture card so that I could start live streaming. And I'm also using a ring light at my desk. When I got this capture card, I tried it with different cameras that I had on hand. If you watch my live streams on YouTube in the month of March and April, all of those were done with the Canon Vixa camcorder. Why? I couldn't get a clean HDMI on my Canon EOS M50. Hello. Hello. To give you an idea of how the capture card works out of the box with the Canon EOS M50, this is my OBS. I'm just doing record. And as you can see, it's called Not Clean HDMI, which is you can see the box around my face. You can see all of the other stuff going on around my face in the screen. And this is how it records. Eventually, I figured out how to do it with the capture card, but I had to set my M50 to manual focus, or I could buy some software. What I'm going to show you today doesn't require a sold out capture card and the software is free from Canon. Now, how did I figure this out? Believe it or not, I saw this on Facebook as a sponsored post. That means that Canon paid to show me this free software. Now, of course the camera isn't free, but I thought it was a nice gesture and I already own the camera. And now I'm going to do a record on my screen with the Canon M50 as a streaming device using the uh, software. And uh, I've opened up the website here and I will link over to this. Uh, so basically you need to get to the EOS webcam utility beta software website. And this is on my Windows device and it gives you all of the information here. It's in beta and it is compatible with EOS webcam utility software. Essentially need an EOS camera that is compatible with the EOS webcam utility beta software and you need that USB cable I just spoke about and you need to do this on a Windows machine for now. Now, how do you know if your camera is compatible? Well, they have a list of compatible products right here on this website. And the M50 is one of the compatible products. And of course you can sign up for future releases and maybe they'll release Mac someday. If you hit get started, what you'll get is a PDF and it gives you a step-by-step -step of how this works. And we'll go back to that. If you hit get beta software, click get beta software and then you'll see the instructions and the different cameras that are available. So I have an M50, so you would choose your camera here, select M50, and now M50 goes into here, and then you wanna scroll down, and now EOS Webcam Utility Beta. Very important, you hit select. You should see this download button. You wanna download the file. It is a zip file, it says exe here. Don't pay attention to that. It's a zip file. Then you want to open your zip file and there you go. And then you want to run it and you'll go through the entire setup. And I've already installed it on this computer. That's how I'm able to do this screen record right now. I'm going to cancel out of here, but I want to show you what the process is. So we're going to go over to their PDF, which you got to from hitting get started, take you to this PDF and it goes through the process. Find your camera. If you don't get to this page, you can also search for your camera and then you wanna hit the download button. You wanna unzip the file, which I just did. You wanna launch 
the executable and then I'll go through this whole installer. So I'll hit next and then you'll accept the license agreement, confirm the installation. Do you wanna allow it to make changes? Yes, you do. Hit yes. It'll go through the whole installation and it'll say install complete. And then it says you must restart your computer to apply these changes. Restart your computer. All right, excellent. And then once you restart your computer, that it is recommended you turn your camera on to the movie setting. You want to plug it in using a USB cable into your computer. And they do suggest using the AC adapter, which I'm using right now. That is it. So you reboot your computer, you back, go back into OBS like this. And hello, I am now streaming through my Canon clean HDMI with just the USB cable, no capture card, and it's, it's super easy. It just works. And hello, hello. Now you can see I'm kind of holding up my Canon M50 and you can see me right here and I am streaming through OBS or I'm just recording myself how I would look on a stream through OBS. As you can see, this is what they call clean HDMI. There is no box around my face. There's no stats around everything. I'm still on auto focus. Yay. The only drawback to this is I can't get the lav working. Uh, maybe I just need to do a little more work there uh, through the mic. I have tried it with a USB microphone like a snowball and that worked great. But yeah, I might be doing live streaming through my Windows machine now with my Canon M50 now that I've got this great software. Now I'm going to show you the experience that you're going to have on a Mac. The only things I could get it to work on Mac were Zoom and Skype and only in the Chrome browser. Just as a quick demo here, I'm at zoom.us. I've already logged in and I'm gonna do host a meeting with video on. And then I have to hit cancel because it wants me to use my app that I already have downloaded. So I hit cancel again. And then there's this little link right here, start from your browser. If I do that, I wanna join audio by computer. And then if I hit start video, there I go, but I wanna make sure I'm using my Canon EOS. How do I make sure I do that? I'm going to go to EOS Webcam Utility Beta. And then this will take a few seconds. And here we are. So now I'm using my Canon EOS. And I know this because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand, can cover up the lens, so I know I am using the Canon EOS. Hello, everybody. I have now started a Zoom call and this is what it's going to look like. And then if other people join, then um, there'll be other faces. Now let's switch over to Skype. All right, so my I'm gonna start a Skype meeting. I'm gonna hit start call, and it is already on EOS webcam utility beta. And if I hit start call, then anybody can join. And this is my meeting. Hello, meeting with Caroline. This is Skype. I'm the only one right now, and you can tell that I'm putting my hand up lens of my Canon EOS M50, and now I'm on a Skype call. Hey, what do you think? Uh, so yeah, here's me on Zoom. I'm in a Zoom call by myself. Now I'm in a Skype call by myself. These are the only two entities I could get working with the Mac at the time of this recording. I could not get OBS to work and I could not get even QuickTime to work. If you wanna see the experience on OBS, and here it is. This was the experience on OBS. It did not work at all. Let's go through a little demo. Now, let me show you how I got to this point. This is a little bit in reverse. I am at EOS Webcam Utility Beta, and I'll link to this below in the description field. And it has, before you download, go to the Canon Mac forum. So if I click on that, this is the latest information. And it, it says, okay, hey, it is available for Mac, but here are the caveats. When using uh, EOS Webcam Utility Beta, the following applications will not permit EOS Webcam Utility, Safari, FaceTime, Skype, Zoom, WebEx. If you want to use Skype, Zoom and WebEx, use it as a web-based in Google Chrome and not as a native application. Hopefully they'll improve it here. Just to show you which version I downloaded, scroll down, we go to EOS M50. That's the kind of camera I have, so you'll have to select your camera, scroll down, and let's see, and you're, you're looking for EOS Webcam Utility Beta, and you want to select that one. Do not select EOS Utility 13.12.10. That is another app that does something else. 
Also, if you are using the EOS Utility 3.12.10, you cannot run it at the same time as the beta webcam utility. It will, they cannot run simultaneously. You can have one or the other. For webcam utility, select, and then you hit download and you will install it just as you do a normal installation. It opens up a package and then you'll wanna install the package as you normally do on your Mac device. EOS webcam beta utility on Mac. Here it is. If you found this video helpful, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.